Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on NPD and Relationships. Hello, everybody. To all of our new family members and new subscribers, hey, y'all. Welcome to my tribe and family at large. Welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back to see what just what I have to say on the matter. Okay, so listen, y'all know on Thursday nights we do our, our Thursday night live streams at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every Thursday night. I want to see you here on the channel, okay? Want to see you here. Of course, y'all know that every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 1.2k plus on the video. If you rock with your girl. Come on, hit that like button one time, one time. All right, y'all, so listen, let's jump into the topic of this video. I wanna talk about this. I wanna talk about, you know, why you actually shouldn't bother doing this with a narcissist. Um, because narcissists actually believe their own lies, okay? I wanna talk about this because we have um, new people that are just coming to the channel and not only that seasoned folks too you know especially when we have uh, narcissists in the family we kind of forget you know about these things but number one thing that you have to realize about a person that is manipulative is the fact that if they are a manipulative person they're not usually just manipulative part of the time that's just their way of life that's just who they are okay there's nothing that you can do about that and what you have to understand also about manipulative people is that you know because manipulation is you know a form of witchcraft you know you're gonna have uh all types of other evil stuff you know that has to be uh included in that bag to actually um allow them to be successful in their manipulation lies meaning one huge part of that okay so knowing that let me just go ahead and lay the foundation for this narcissists actually believe their own lies now what i'm talking about in this video is that a lot of times we get caught up in you know because those of us that have been abused by these people we get caught up in the fact of, you know, we want to prove our point. I want to prove my point. I want to, you know, I, I got the proof. I want to prove my point. You know, you were wrong, this and that. You know, you want to prove your point because at the end of the day, you're not going to just sit up there and lie on me like that. Mm -hmm. Most of us are like that. Not just going to sit up there and lie on me like that and just like, oh, well, I'm not. And, and I just not say anything about it. So a lot of times we get caught up in that hole i'm gonna show you i'm gonna tell you you know i i want to really break this down because i don't want people thinking this and that and the other well first of all if people think that of you anyway these are people that really shouldn't be in your circle and that really they they're probably people that really don't know you you understand what i'm saying so when you think about arguing with a narcissist when you think about proving your point with a narcissist, I want to just give you a different perspective. You know, think again. You know, think about it. You can. Yeah, this is this is why. And the reason I'm I'm making this video is because I want y'all to understand that even if you have something concrete, you know, that you want to show them, even if you have something that you feel like it needs to be, you know, it needs to be discussed. You're dealing with a manipulator. You're dealing with someone that absolutely will not take accountability for what the, for the things that they've done. They don't have the capacity to take accountability for it. Why do I say they don't have the capacity to take accountability for it? Well, the reason I say that is because they, the, you know, that whole thing of manipulation and the lies and the deceit and everything like that, they have to do that because the, the foundation that they're working with is fragmented. It's fragmented in such a way, I mean, it's worse than what we deal with, but it's fragmented in such a way that it doesn't even allow them to take accountability for anything that they do. And that's simply because they can't handle the shame. 
They know they do horrific things. They know that they are some whole birds. They already know all of that. They don't need you to tell them that. They know all of that. So when you're dealing with a person like that and you try to go to them and tell them, okay, this is what you've done. You know, I want to I wanna bring this to your attention. You know, this, that, and the third. They're, the narcissist, all you're doing, all you're doing is letting them know what actually uh, gets you upset. You're letting them know what makes you angry. And all they're going to do is take that, you know, what you're bringing to them and they're going to turn around and weaponize it against you. This is what they do. This is how they get down. They will turn around. So you're arguing with them and you got hardcore proof. But what you have to understand is that that demonic entity inside of them will not allow them to take accountability. Because remember, remember I told you all, and I keep saying it, and I'm going to continue to say this, is that what you have to understand about demonic entities is that when they enter a person, they have to change your consciousness. A lot of you, you know, you, um, you, you get into this space where Especially when you're dealing with family members, even when you're dealing with them in a in a romantic situation, you're like, well, I, you know, you, I, I, I let you get away with it this time, but now I got the proof and this and that. It doesn't matter because they're gonna still tell you when you take that proof over there to them. What they're gonna actually tell you is that that wasn't me. I don't care what you have in your hands. That wasn't me. I didn't do that. That I, mean, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know what you're, you know, I don't, I don't know anything about that. And all that's going to do is make you angry. Don't even listen. Don't do it to yourself, family. Don't do it to yourself. Use that because what it does, I'm going to tell you what it does to you. It really honestly makes you want to gas like yourself. Okay. It really takes you into this space of, I can't believe this person actually did this or that. And I'm trying to tell them, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to let them know that, listen, I got the hard, listen, when you understand that you're dealing with a narcissist, when you understand that you are dealing with one of these hell minted frogs, what you start doing is you make a plan of escape. You don't sit there trying to argue with somebody about what you know that they did. You know, and because at that point, at that point, when you go to argue with them, let me show you what you're doing. When you go and you start arguing with them about what you know that they, they did, you want them to actually own up to this. You want them, what you're simply doing is you're not putting yourself in a superior position. You're putting, I want y'all to really hear this because this is revelation right here. What you're doing is you're putting yourself in an inferior position underneath the narcissist because it's almost like you are taking them information for them to, to approve, approve that yes, I did this or to accept I did this. No, 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 no. Nobody's taking a, a position of inferiority around here. I don't even need you to prove that you did it because see, I already know what you're going to say and see, because they believe their own lies. And the reason that they're able to believe their own lies is because the demonic entity allows them. It actually dictates that. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't allow them to take accountability for anything. It doesn't allow them to be able to say, oh, well, you know, maybe I should rethink. Mm -mm. If a narcissist accepts accountability for anything, it's fake at most and at, at best. And the only reason that they're doing it is they just want you to shut up because it's something else that they want from you. That's it. Family, I really need y'all to hit that like button. No one is taking a position of inferiority here because that's where the narcissist wants you. And that's a lot of times why people want, you know, a lot of times why, you know, we want closure from the narcissist. Oh, I want closure. I want to, you know, I want them to tell me why they did this and why they did that. But you know what? When you really get down to the meat of the matter, a lot of times it's not the fact that, you know, that we want closure. It's the fact that we want them to stop what they're doing and behave themselves and change their mind. No. You let the, let me tell you something. You let these backwards walking rhinos and giraffes, you let them go on about their business. Don't nobody have time to sit up and argue with you about what you know you did. 
They're going to lie about it. They believe their own lies. So don't bother arguing with them about something you know that they did. What? Why would you argue? What you do is you take the position of superiority, not even equal. Because you can't be on an equal. When you are a child of the Most High God, you don't even take a position of equality with a demon. You rise up above that demon. Come on here. And you take the position of superiority over that demonic entity. And you say, look, I'm not going to even ask you any questions about this. I know what it is and I know what it's not. And then now knowing because they are manipulative and this is what they do, they believe their own lies and they don't even have the capacity to take accountability for what they do you don't even you don't don't ever take a position of inferiority with them you just see it for what it is and you keep it pushing you make your plan of escape and you get away but you do it in listen Anytime you're trying to get away from one of these birds, you always move in stealth mode. You don't talk about it. You just be about it. That's what you do. You you don't talk about it. Just be about it, family. So I wanted to put this out here because I want, I really want us to have a clear understanding about, you know, what position we take in this addiction ship or, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, uh, uh, family members and things like that, don't ever lower yourself. Okay. Don't ever lower yourself to to uh, wanting to bring something to the uh, to the attention of a manipulative individual like this. Because all you're doing is you want it, you're taking it there to show them the proof. When you find out that they are this type of person, don't even don't do it to yourself. You just understand what it is and you make the necessary adjustments. All right, family. So I just wanted to get this out here for you all. I want to tell you I love you all. I want you to be really safe out there, and I will see you all on the next video and I will see you all healed at the top. All right, family. Shalom. Peace.